I woke up this morning and I could not move. The weight that was sitting on top of me as I was trying to just get the day started was so heavy. My name is Bruce Alexander. Call me Coach Bruce and I'm a life coach for ADHD parents. The reason I'm starting this story out this way, for one, is because it's true. I feel deep levels of anxiety at times. Most of it for me is because I have ADHD and sometimes I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. And in those moments, I'm terrified. I don't know what step to take next because there's so many things running through my head and the negative dialogue in my brain is telling me, just quit. You're not going to do anything good today anyways. Just stay in bed. Nobody cares what you're doing. Nobody cares if you make any videos. Your clients are going to leave you at some point soon anyways. And so I lay there in bed with an elephant sitting on my chest. And the process of breathing becomes harder and harder until it feels like I can't do it anymore. Today was one of those days. All I could do was eventually roll over and press play. I've designed my life to try to live functionally inside of this ADHD. I know there are certain things that I want to do every day. I have goals. I have a standard I'm trying to live by. Every day I want to try to expand my mind, expand my relationship with God, expand my fitness, and expand my relationship with my family. It doesn't have to be specific. It doesn't have to be exact. But if I can do something in each one of those areas every single day, then I know that I'm, I'm moving closer to my goals. I'm winning. So today, with the, with the heavy feeling on my chest, all I could do was press play. As I was pressing play, it was on an audiobook that was helping me live by a standard and live by a code. I took the first step. As hard as it was to get the ball rolling, as heavy as the ball felt, I pushed it. I pushed play, and I pushed that ball of momentum. Listening to my audiobook, the weight felt a little lighter because I've already started to expand my mind for the day. I've already checked something off my list just by pressing play. After I listened to 15, 20 minutes of my audiobook, I felt light enough to sit up. And once I sat up, I realized all I need to do is go sit down at the table and eat breakfast with my family. Actually, I'm sorry, that's not what I did first. All I need to do next is move over to the computer and write. Sit down and write about what you're feeling today. Talk about this heaviness. Get it out. Look at it on paper. And then deal with it there. And once I did that, I felt lighter. Even lighter. And I felt, I felt good enough to go out and have breakfast with the family and sit at the table. And connecting with them, I'm expanding my relationship with my family. I felt even lighter. I felt good enough to go sit outside. It's a beautiful day outside. I meditated. I just cleared my head from all the gunk, which is really hard if you have ADHD, but it's possible. Today was one of the best meditations I've ever had. I listened to the birds. I felt the sun on my skin. I heard my dogs hopping around the backyard, enjoying the backyard, and I just was. I let go of the pressure of thinking that I have so much to do every day, and I just was. And that clarity provided me an openness to have a conversation with God. And I spoke out loud. I spoke to God out loud, and I, and I thanked him. I took the time to be grateful, even in this painful day, to be existing on this planet, to be existing right now. And in that, he gave me a gift, something I haven't really felt for a long time. This is my third day off of ADHD medication, and I felt the gift of gratitude. After I thanked him, he let me actually feel grateful. And I cried. I haven't felt this feeling. I don't know how long. I don't know if ever. Whenever I could feel my feelings before, I was too young to feel grateful. So I was thanking him for my existence, and I meant it. And he gave me the gift of feeling that gratefulness. And then I felt amazing. I went from being not able to breathe, laying in bed, 
to less than an hour and a half, two hours later, feeling amazing. And I didn't take anything. There was no medical intervention there. I didn't have to do a crazy workout. I didn't have to do anything insane to get this shift. I just had to commit to one small action and to trust the process. This may not be how it works exactly for everybody, but I know that if you do nothing, nothing will get better. But if you make one movement in the right direction, you have a chance to gain momentum. And for me today, that's all I needed was to press play. But then you take the first step and then you keep going. And then after meditating and having my conversation with God, I felt lighter. And so I came and I did a workout. And now, before I know it, I've done almost everything on my list to do to have expanded my mind, expanded my uh, my fitness, expanded my relationship with my kids and my wife, and expanded my relationship with God. Now, expand my business. That's what I do here. This is where I reach out to you and tell you how I how I handle the problems that come with ADHD, how I have stopped being a bystander in my life, and how I want to help you do the same. It's not like I have it all figured out. I don't own every day as if it's mine, but I do most days. And whenever I feel stuck like I did this morning, I know how to handle it. And I can teach you to do the same. <clears throat> I encourage you to take the ADHD Aimless Life Assessment if you feel like you are a bystander in your life and you have no control. In order to have control of your life, you have to take control. And it starts with one step. It starts with making a decision to live your life. Nobody is going to do that for you. You have to make the first step. If I could, if I could come and drag you along, I wouldn't. I wouldn't rob you of the process. The process is what makes you strong. The making that commitment is what makes you prepared to receive what's next. You have to take the first step in order to be ready to go down that path. I want to, I want to guide you down that path. I want to assist you on that path. But you have to be ready to take the step. And some days it feels so heavy and you don't know what to do but you just take the step. And if your life is feeling like that heavy thing all the time, it's because you're letting your life happen to you. It's time to take a step in a new direction and decide what happens in your life. Go take the aimless life assessment and let me help you. Have a great day. I'll talk to you tomorrow.